Hey guys, so this is topic 20. Again, this will be one video. This is a very short topic. The, the notes themselves are only nine pages long, mostly theory. The, this topic now and the next one as well are short and then we'll do resistance, which is kind of long. We'll probably break that into two videos. So we'll fire through this again. A lot of this you know already from Junicert. And if you don't know, then um, hopefully this kind of refreshes it for you. Uh, what is the conductor? It allows the charge to flow. What is an insulator? It does not. Very straightforward, guys. What is electrical current? Is the flow of the charge or the rate of the flow of electrons, whatever. Okay. What are the three different effects of electricity? Heating, chemical, and magnetic. Okay. So electricity will heat things up. It uh, can cause a chemical effect. Um, for example, here, the beaker, water with sulfuric acid. Okay. We can break water into its two components, oxygen and hydrogen. And the magnetic effect, electromagnets, etc., work off the base of electricity. Okay. So this is all doing this sort of stuff, guys. Um, all right, electric current metal conductor, it is a flow of electrons, again, we kind of know that. What is the charge, coulombs, we know that. All right, here we go, this is now something new. The size of electric uh, current is defined by the amount of charge passing any point per second. Remember that. They never really ask you for this definition, but it's something that they, they, they people forget, and it's very important for when you're doing certain questions, okay? So, electrical current is the amount of charge passing Point in the conductor per second. Charge Q coulombs per second. Okay? We'll, all right? In other words, where the question that where that comes up in questions is they'll give it they'll tell you how many electrons pass. You see? And say it's ten coulombs, right? Well, how many pa pass? Well, well the electrical current is per second, okay? So therefore it's ten divided by the charge of an electron to get the number of electrons. We come across that now soon enough in questions, okay? Your equation then, charge gone past, current by time. So current equals charge over time, okay? As we saw above, okay? Electrical current, charge per second. Okay, it's the per second that gets people because that's how you get rid of the time. It's one, okay? Here, let's just talk about batteries, how things run. Um, okay, so direct current, and it, or, eh, direct current, direct current, I it's a direct current, an indirect current, direct current and alternating current is, direct current is a current that flows in one direction only, what is AC, a current that reverses direction every so often, basically uh, AC current changes direction every 100 of a second, okay, switches back and forth, DC travels one way, DC can stop, be stopped by a capacitor, AC is not, okay, um, right, so, this is kind of just going to get some basic stuff in, guys, for the next topic of, um, force and order, let me see, oh, circuits are a good bit away, yeah, we're getting close to circuits, so circuit building, all right, so, basically, that the sum of the current going into a junction, so we have a junction zero, all right, so, in other words, one plus two equals one, is equal to three, four, and five, so, in other words, these, let me rub all that, these three, these two equal these three. What goes in has to come out, okay? Unless we lose it to air or something like that. That's generally how it works with a junction, okay? However, in a series circuit, okay? These are all important now, all right? Um, this is a series circuit where they're all connected one after the other, okay? There's only one path, is the way to think of it, all right? The same amount of charge passes any point per second, okay? The current flowing out of the battery is the same as the current flowing back into the battery, all right, so each ammeter will give you the exact same value, okay? So the I value is the same, okay? No matter where in the series circuit you go, okay? The current stays the same, all right? You measure with an ammeter. I'm assuming you all know that. Now, parallel circuit, okay? In a parallel circuit, however, the current gets split, okay? So I equals I equals I equals I. This ammeter and this ammeter will give you the exact same reading. However, these two will be different. All right. The reason being is that in a parallel circuit, the current gets split. Okay. So the current, you'd have current one and current two. And I1 plus I2 equals the total. Okay. So in a parallel circuit, the current gets split. In a series circuit, the current doesn't. It's the same current flowing around. Okay. Let's check commercial units. And then we're pretty much done, guys. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six questions. A fire room here now. Very easy stuff, okay? This is just converting your units. So I kind of got to just skip through this really. Basically, guys, 
milli, oops, turn on my pen, milliameter, 10 to the minus 3, micro, 10 to the minus 6, that's it, all the way down, okay? All right, uh, problem two, a current of 3 amps flows through a bulb, how much charge enters the bulb in? One second, T1, T2 is a minute, 60 seconds, T3 is an hour, which is 60 by 60. So for one, Q, IT, so IT1, for two, IT2, and for three, I'm going to rub that out, give myself a bit more space there, I didn't uh, time that right, but you get the idea. So for one, Q equals IT1, for two, Q equals IT2, for three, Q equals IT3. Here, your Q value should work out to be three coulombs, here it works out to be 180 coulombs, and here it works out to be 10,800 coulombs. Done, done, done. Okay, there you go. So problem three, how much charge passes a point in a circuit for which the current, six amps time is four times 60 times 60, Q equals IT, sub in those two values, and we should get eight, six, four, zero, zero coulombs. Okay, so as I said, these are very easy guys, it's just basic stuff now. Right, so 2 by 10 to the 20 electrons. All right, so I'm going to call that N for number. 2 by 10 to the 20 electrons. Passes a point in a circuit every second. Time equals 1 second. What current flows in the circuit? Assume the charge of an electron. 1.6, 10 to the minus 19. Why am I giving it a Q? Because I said charge, okay? Uh, and we're trying to find current okay so q i t q over t okay so we have to find q now oh i made a mistake actually q is not 1.6 with 10 to the minus 19 apologies q is q okay an electron is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 apologies there if i threw you off confuse you I misread, I misread, I don't know why, I just saw the word. That happens, guys, sometimes you, you misread it. I, I just saw charge and the part about electron, even though I said it didn't go in, register with me, and I just jumped ahead and gave me charge. So now we need to find Q. What did I say, Q? Okay, so Q is the charge. So what do we have? We have a charge of an electron, 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. Okay, and we have 2 by 10 to the 20 electrons per second. Okay. So our time is just a second. So that becomes 2 by 10 to the 20. Okay? That all together should give me a charge of 32 coulombs. So therefore, I equals 32 over 1, 32 amps. You see what happened? So the charge, the, the charge going through, it's a number of electrons multiplied by the charge of an electron. That's what it always is, okay? Let me, I'll write it up here. So, Q equals number of electrons times charge of E. So, the charge is the number of electrons multiplied by the charge of an electron. Always the same, every time. That's the only extra curveball they throw you in with these kind of questions. So, two more questions to go. Uh, problem five. In a tube of a television set, a beam of fast-moving electrons traveling through a vacuum strikes the screen, producing a picture. If the average beam is one milliamp, so that's current, guys. You see amp, you see one by... How many electrons strike the screen? So time. Uh, 60 by 60. Uh, charge of an electron, they give it to us as 1.6, 10 to the minus 19. And what are they looking for? They want Q. Okay, so now we have something different. 
Okay, so no, no, we're not looking for Q. Sorry, hold on a minute. How many electrons? So what we're looking for is n, n of electrons. So what do we say? Q is number of electrons times the charge. Okay, so the number of electrons is going to be Q divided by the charge. All right. So we just need to find, we have the charge of an electron, it was given to us 1.6 by 10 to the minus uh, 19. So we need to find this, okay? So we'd pull it back, Q equals IT. You see? So fire in your I and your T value, and you should get 3.6 coulombs. So the number of electrons is 3.6 divided by 1.6, 10 to the minus 19. The number of electrons equals 2.25 by 10 to the minus Oops, not the minus, that does that. 10 to the 19 electrons. Okay. All right, so charge is the number of electrons divided by the charge. Um, and therefore, we have to find Q, all right, and that's it. All right, so that's not in the log tables. So you have to try and remember that, okay? The last thing there then is from 2009. Calculate the average current that flows through a victim when the capacitor in a defibrillator containing a charge at a time of 10 milliseconds, so that's three. I'm gonna look for current. Very straightforward, guys. Q equals IT, I equals Q over T. That's it. It was at the end of an exam paper question. And there you go, 16 apps. Done. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the topic. Um, fairly straightforward, basic stuff, guys. I know I went through it pretty quick, but a lot of it's kind of um, stuff I assume you know. Again, if you have any questions, throw it into the comment section below, and I'll answer it as good as possible.